Beasley and I want to welcome you to this how-to OTRS mini admin. In OTRS it's sometimes necessary to have mini admins to do things like manage responses, auto responses and sometimes even write salutations and signatures for different queues. I'm going to show you how to do this today. For this example I'm going to create a new user in our system this user I'm going to call n admin for mini admin. So let's give him a first name, a last name, a username, password, and email so that we can log in with the user. These are the five required items for any user within OTRS. After the new user has been submitted, you will then be redirected to assign this user a new group. We're going to make him a part of users and a part of stats and click Submit. We're not going to make them part of admin. Now let's create a new group for this mini admin. So I'm going to click on Add Group and add a new group called Mini Minus Admin. Kind of gives me later a visual for what type of work this person is going to be doing. Additionally, I'm going to add a description or a comment, a group for queue settings. Once I click Submit, I'll then be able to add this user that I've created to this group. Now it's just a matter of the settings. By choosing the group ticket out of the sysconfig and going to the section Front End Admin module registration. I can then scroll down to whichever configuration module that I want to give permissions for and then add this new group, for example here in admin response. By clicking on the plus, the screen will refresh and I will now have a new field for entering a group permissions. When I then add my mini admin into this field, my mini admin will then have permissions to access this module admin response. After the screen refreshes, the new permissions are then available, and then I can log in as my mini admin user to see how these permissions work. As you see here, the user does not have an admin menu link. You therefore need to have the link ready available for your users. Here's the link to the admin queue response. You can find this link when you have an admin user that can access this module via the menu and then distribute this link to your MIDI admin. And here you can see the MIDI admin is now capable of creating a new response. I hope this tutorial has been informative and helps you to create MIDI admins within your organization. Thank you for listening.